Baroque Ensemble, led by director Paul Scheeman, keeps 19th century music alive in the finest sense. Perhaps a little historic perspective is useful. We're on the verge of classical music, where Haydn uh, could be considered classical. This is uh, music that's produced much more for a court audience, so a smaller circle of people. It's more for the court at, uh, in Vienna, uh, or in Prague, or in uh, Budapest, or wherever the court might be. Well, now we're getting away from what was called contrapuntal music, which is the Baroque style, to where one single voice is maybe standing out with a real melody. And in the symphonies that we play, often it's the first violins that have a real distinct melody with accompaniment from the rest of the orchestra. Around then, horns began to emerge in classical music, though very limited in capacity. Megan Evans plays French horn. Violins get a million notes. We get like five notes, right? Boom, boom, boom. The horn is a pretty new instrument to the orchestra at this point in history. So, um, and at that point also there's no valves on the horn. So it's just a natural horn. It can only play a few different notes. So really I'm just playing a few sort of color notes um, to add some sound. 1800 was the invention of the valves, but composers didn't start adding them into the music until 1850 even all the way to 1860. Someone like Haydn is now using musicians that he had in the court where he was, and he had horns and oboes, so he is now one of the earliest composers to add new dimension to the music with, in the orchestra, two oboes and two horns. And easy on the trills. The maestro is also an oboist by trade. It's another complex instrument, now a long standard part of classical orchestration. And nowadays we have many, many keys on the instrument, but back in the early days, they were just, you know, you almost thought of it as a recorder with a double reed on the end. So there were no keys. So it, we really have evolved over 250 years. Not only the aristocrats could learn and hear music, but then everyday or middle class people could learn as well. So this is a bit of a kind of opening up of the world of music. It's beautiful, what can I say? It is great, homogenic, sound from with all the players. For Go, I'm Tim Dancy. Thank you.